Понял, под моим управлением. Наблюдаю у вас 292. Hello guys, once again, it's Matt, and today we're going to check it out again, the MiG-23 MLD, and we're going to check it out the if it can still maintain its superiority over other fighters uh, we know that it was kind of OP in the last patch now we're going to check it out if it's still OP or kind of good uh, I think you already know the answer but yeah let's get into some battles uh, make sure to subscribe and click, uh, click the like button okay let's get into some battles okay splash one I see another one Fox again. Yes, yeah, splash another one. Two good kills, BVR kills. Let's save some fuel. Keep an eye out. See if you can see another people uh, flying nearby. Uh, yeah, we have two shoots. They are fine. They just lot lost a, a very expensive plane. <laughs> so we have a lock. We're being locked. I mean, just dump some chaff. I don't know where exactly this guy is, but yeah. Have to be careful. But as you see, the R24 is pretty amazing, right? The F5 didn't even know that. The, the the missile was coming but the FJ the 4RJ new and yeah I'm gonna lower my altitude because I only have our 60s now still try to save some fuel try to gain some speed in the deck and try to get those guys up there uh, by surprise yeah this is probably the main Problem with this aircraft is just that it does it just have two missiles, two uh, radar missiles. <laughs> but it's still pretty amazing, right? Is it still as good as it was? Yeah, probably even better. <laughs> yeah, let's try to burn a little bit. Three aircraft here. I'm going to go to the secondary one. Gonna go Fox you. Nice splash, and that guy saw me. Yeah, I need to get out of here. Lower altitude, accelerate. The F5 is coming for me. Oh, come on, where was that guy? The spotting system is so unreliable. Uh, but yeah, let's go for another one. Come on, boys. Oh, yes. Two kills, let's turn away and run a little bit for the missiles. Yeah, that's a probably a very good missile. Jesus, yeah, I need to... Yeah, that's scary. The, the M7F has a very, very, very long range. You have to be careful. It's not as great in turning as the M7E2 and the R24, apparently, but... But the range is just amazing, you have to really be careful with those missiles. Come on, EJ, yeah. But yeah, as you see, the the MLD still has the potation, potential to be the top tier of Russia for a very, very long time, boys. A very long time. Uh, especially if we get our 60 ms or even the R-73 in the far future. Uh, they still be a very competitive aircraft. Uh, I think even with F-15s and uh, maybe maybe uh, F-15s or 
F-14s and MiG-29s and stuff, uh, these aircraft would still be very, very competitive. Is he coming to me or not? No, he's not. He's trying to flee. Yeah, there you go. Oh, we're near the airfield. I have to turn. Not gonna be here. But yeah, basically the match is over by now. There's an F. I think it's an F5 there, and the F4 there that just died. That's the F8. Uh, but yeah, let's try to turn away. Turn around. And let's try to get get this guy. As you saw, the, the MiG-23 is pretty good. Uh, yeah, we don't need, especially... Oh, come on. Especially... Yeah, that's scary. I have to get out of here. Too close to the airfield. It's probably gonna launch some missiles. Maybe. Or not. Yeah, we have a problem that the airfield is going to protect him. If I had a radar missile, he probably would be dead, but... Let's try a very far away shot. I have to... There's kind of an exploit that you can do to attack people on the... On the airfield, but it's... Kinda lame, it's you have to just be on the vertical side uh, on top of the airfield and you'll be fine. But it's kinda lame. Sorry if I didn't speak too much in this video, it's just that I was very focused on killing the, the guy, the people. Where is that guy? Here you go. He's being very brave actually, attacking me like that. But as you see... I might die for the M247, uh, but for the missiles, I just get. You're not. You're not gonna die for it. Oh, oh that was close. I thought it would the missile would just go for the <laughs> the RF4. But yeah, three kills I think. Yeah, three kills. Let's go for the last one, guys. Just to show a little bit on the MiG-23 again. Pretty amazing aircraft. So here you go boys, last battle, um, we're going to climb a little bit, as always, this aircraft is amazing at high altitudes, what is that, what, what is that, well I guess I'm going to fire, just wait a little bit because I'm kind of slow and very low altitude, but I'm going to wait maybe till 10 kilometers, get more speed if I can, Fox 1, Let's not get there too fast. Let's see the missile if it's going to hit. It is, I think. Yes! So, yeah, this is kind of easy kills, you know, because it's just attackers, but still kills, right? Especially the AV-8A, I kind of don't mind killing a lot of them, just because... They are premium aircraft that had a very low BR for a while, so... <laughs> and what were they doing at 10 kilometers of altitude? Waiting to get killed by a MiG. But yeah, what you guys think about the MLD? Is it... Oh, Jesus, that scared me. I did not see that guy, I just saw the RWR ping. Let's try to squeeze another battle, even, if I can. <laughs> that was not good. Let's go guys, last battle, now it's true, <laughs> last battle, uh, but yeah, I forgot to record yesterday, I got a couple of good matches, but with 7, 8 kills, but today I'm kind of not being able to manage that many, still pretty amazing aircraft nonetheless, oh we're getting locked, 
think. I don't know what what was that. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I don't see the guy. I'm just gonna drop some chaff and turn away. Just make sure that we stay alive for now. I don't see the guy on the radar or on the on the screen, so he might fly be flying down there. That's probably why. Okay, let's turn in again. Let's see if we can see something. Oh, there you go. We have a launch there. And I have a lock on me, so I'm going to just turn a lot. Try to maintain the lock for the FRJ. That's probably the thing locking me. Let's try to... I have to turn away. I might die. Oh, Jesus. Uh, there is... Oh, that was close. Another one. Uh, Jesus Christ, that was close. Oh, come on, guys. Yeah, two FRs at the same time is kind of... Why are you firing another missile, man? Are you that thirsty? Uh, but yeah, I got just jumped by two guys. I should have waited a little bit longer for my team, but still pretty good. So yeah, guys, this was it for the MLD. As I see, as you see, uh, it's not as unbeatable as the war, but uh, it depends on the battle. Uh, if you get jumped by one or two guys, it's probably difficult to deviate all the missiles. Uh, but as you see, where is it? Uh, you, I mean, still, like, look at this, still 73% of win rate, look at the KD, so, pretty, I mean, it's best aircraft in the game, probably, at least in the statistics, it depends a lot on how you play an aircraft, uh, for me, I find that the F4s are too clumsy, they're too, I don't know, they're, they're kind of a flying brick, so I kind of don't like the idea of not having a nimble aircraft, and even though the MiG-23 is not a a 5 or a MiG-21, still a very nimble aircraft and a very l light aircraft compared to the to the F-4. So yeah, pretty good. The missiles are very reliable. We still don't get the R-60Ms, uh, but we kind of don't need it yet. Uh, if the Russians get the R-60M, we we'll probably see some pretty high um, wing rates, <laughs> more higher. And higher than they are right now so yeah probably not the greatest idea ever but yeah this is it guys i see you guys in the next one make sure to subscribe and click the like button and bye